good to be back here. <laughs> so many memories. And many of them good. <laughs> now, this zoo is the first of two new ventures, which will specialize in Arctic animals. Although I'm sure that was fairly obvious with the temperature. <laughs> I didn't choose this location just because I love Ludafisk. <laughs> this particular site will be focusing on researching, breeding, and releasing all sorts of animals from the far north. And I'm hoping that research will help us find out just what it'll take for us to preserve these species in the face of global warming. Remember, we're not trying to make a massive profit here. We're trying to make a difference. That said, <laughs> you're gonna be dealing with reindeer, Arctic wolves, even polar bears. And that means expanding the zoo a lot. So, some profit definitely be useful. Would definitely be. Hello and welcome to the Goodwin Arctic Research Park. Now, this is the first of the two parks that came with the Arctic DLC. Meaning, if you don't have them, they're not available. For obvious reasons, because the animals wouldn't be available. And I am going to be going through these two next. And then, you know, maybe by when I'm done with these, we'll have a new DLC with new scenarios. Who knows? Okay. So for the run standards, we need to adopt and place 10 reindeer, increase the reindeer overall welfare, have at least three habitat species, research reindeer, and increase education rating. So pretty basic things. We've got a little doll sheep. You know, looking at these zoos in comparison to my zoos, they always look so sad. It's just, you know, sort of what you're expecting, right? But it's a research site, but it still makes me sad. Anyways, here, more education boards. Uh, and I think we've got 10 reindeer in here, so... Yeah, we've got 10 reindeer, so we don't even have to buy those. And we need wolves and polar bears, because I believe we don't even have the many animals to choose from. Timber wolves, uh, snow leopards, oak, Sabine tigers, reindeer, polar bears, Himalayan brown bear, grizzly bear, Doll sheep, arctic wolves, and American bison. So that's the species we can work with. Um, now, for the sake of making this as simple as possible, I'd propose we put some arctic bisons down here. It feels so weird to build with barriers again. I don't know how to say this, but it really feels weird because, like, I'm just not used to it anymore. I am completely used to having. You know, my, my self-assembled barriers, that it's weird to not have them. No, I want glass so that I can form it, thank you. You know, even though like for most of the time when I was starting to play, I was only using walls because, you know, first of all, I didn't know how to use other pieces and also takes a lot longer. But now it always feels weird when you just randomly take a pathing tool. And you're like, oh, here, now we've got a full fence. Okay, let's just make that wood real quick. And, uh, Ernie seems to be using chain link or um, steel mesh here. Steel mesh. So let's just go with that as well. Not the prettiest little place, but uh, we apparently don't really care about that. So let's pop some bison in here. There, that should do it. Of course I forgot to place a door. <laughs> Clever as always, right? Go in there, come on. Also, if any of you happen to just have found my channel because you were looking for the new scenario, welcome to my channel. Yes, it's this chaotic all the time, and by that I mean, you, you'll see what I mean. It's not chaotic yet. That's because we just started. I'm also genuinely fascinated by how all the animals we get here are animals that just don't care. Like, there's no plants in this habitat, there's no shelter in this habitat. 
There's no nothing in this habitat and they're just like totally fine. You know, plants are okay, environment is okay. They don't care. <laughs> Uh, and neither do the bison, I believe, do they? A, a little too much snow. Okay, they want one spot that's not snow. We can do that. You know, they're like... I want 10% of my habitat to be warmer than snow temperatures. Okay. Just pop that in here. Should melt some things down. And I'll just pop a big shelter in here. As always, normal, boring pre-built shelters. If you want to see some cool builds, then check out my other videos that don't include trying to fulfill challenges. <laughs> and like trying to finish them without taking 10 years specifically. Which one of you is sick? Who sold me a sick animal? Oh, he's just injured. That's, that's slightly different. Please heat the place up faster. I said faster. Um, doesn't have to increase it that much, but like above snow temperature. There we go. Okay. And then um, we'll get the American poison set up. Let's never forget about our donation boxes. We will also need those. He says and proceeds to not find the donation boxes. Boxies, there they are. Just gotta, you know, ask for them nicely. For the period of nowhere. How are you sick too? Good left to Yossi's and she's injured. Okay, well. They also don't care about plants, which is going to make this the most sad looking place ever. Fade well. I also find it funny that they're using this beach board here. Like this is literally called Beach horizontal, and I'm just like, beach. Beach. Are you sure about that, Boney? Mm. You know, the place itself is gorgeous. You've got this little village here. And you're just going up there into this little center. Now, I need to make a lake for the polar bears because we're not going to get access to this. But other than that, so far, it seems actually, let me gift them some plants. Come on. Plants do you like? North American Tundra and Tiger. You know, can't have the whole place looking this bleak. Even if it's just for texture. And you know, a tree or two. And poof, you know, the place looks a lot more like a place and a lot less like a sad little i don't know what i want to call it sad little something uh my doll sheep in the scenario zeus will in that scenario the free play zeus definitely all have too many plants but that's fine when i give them a christmas tree i mean technically speaking this whole zoo is a christmas tree so why not do you guys also want a christmas tree are you guys happy with a christmas tree no okay North American grassland. See in here, I'm like, I can put them in here, but they want grassland plants. Which just don't fit, but it's okay. Uh, I'm just gonna put a few things somewhere. Yeah, this is also another one of those categories where there's just not a lot to place. Uh, which, fair enough, you know, it's, it's supposed to be grassland. Grassland doesn't have a lot of plants, but where's the grass? <laughs> you know, like... I guess that's still not a lot of choice for grass. You've got like cattail reeds and normal reeds. Oh well, sorry bisons. Game just didn't give me a lot of plants to put into your habitat. I apologize. Trying my best to make it look a little more sociable, but... What are you running from? Stop running! It's not gonna get less cool, I mean technically speaking. It is going to get less cold if you run. Go, run, run! Run as far as you can, because you're still wearing weird pants and a little arctic. Uh, wait, where was it? Okay. It's a train to increase education rating. So education rating goes up the more research we have into our categories. So 
Why is there no works on yet? Bernie, what are you doing? That's not a proper way to set up a zoo, Bernie. <laughs> you gotta work better than that, Bernie. Love her who's like, oh, you don't need to make money, but you might want to buy a polar bear, so you might want to make money after all. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> How did you ever come up with that idea, Bernie? It's great. I'm just gonna take like a little bit of space here and put my reindeer in there because. We're gonna have a fair amount of rain there, I believe, 10. Actually, let's have to walk up top here. I think that might be pretty cool. You know, at least theoretically. I don't know if they'll ever go there. It's like you spend like 20 hours choosing the perfect place for your animals, right? And then they just never go there because that's just how they do things here. Always my favorite moment of the day. the obligatory steel mesh that we're apparently using in the zoo. Pretty sure we don't have a generator up here, do we? So we'll have to take care of that as well. And it's getting dark and then we'll officially be able to see nothing. Yeah, yeah there's no power out here. And um, what about water? We don't have a water filter. Okay. We'll definitely need one of those though. There we go. That should help a little. Um, if you can hear the dog barking in the background, I'm sorry. Dago just likes to say hello apparently. See if we can get you lots of small pool. There you go. Where they won't have to drink from this bad pipe anymore. It's always the pain that like the least, you know, when you have good animals drinking out of these pipes. Like, the least you can do is make it at a lake or something. It's obstructed by the bison. Uh, can happen. Could also just be obstructed by my own stupidity, though. Well, just for the sake of it not being my own stupidity. Uh, let's box all of these guys up for a second. And then we'll be able to tell. <laughs> there we go. If that's fine, they don't need that much space. Right? I think it actually looks okay. How are you feeling about that? Got enough space? Yeah. What's wrong with them there? Oh, okay, well, the enrichments. We don't have any enrichments. In terms of enrichment, there is no enrichment. Not for any of these animals so far. Gottfried. Gottfried and Freya and Astrid and Emma and... Where did they even get... I uh, suppose they're just like randomly picking Nord Nordish names, right? Like... A lot of people are just like, is there something in here? No. Ah, it's wonderful to see some new species around here. Some of the guests are practically shaking with excitement. Well, it's either that or the cold. It's the cold. <laughs> Definitely the cold. That is the one thing I can tell you right away, Bernie. Your guests are freezing. Because somehow, they still haven't realized that we're in Norway and it's cold. And they're still wearing short shorts and crop tops. So, you know. It's not my fault that they're shaking. It's purely their own. <laughs> Did I already hire a second vet? Can we afford a second vet? Probably not. Hey reindeer, how are you liking your new home? You're very injured. 
Hello, bed. Can you please come over? They're all injured. Okay, you are not injured. Good job, Botild. Let's see. That's fine, that's fine, that's okay, that's okay. They're perfectly happy. Okay, so let's start by giving them water. Wing. Nothing more fun than the pool building tool in this game. There you go, now you've got fresh water. Uh, which they still don't care for, but that's fine. Reindeer. Reindeer the deer. Um, where is the proper wooden shelter? Come on, game. I, I know you can do better. Here, that one. This looks a lot more like a stable. Why are we not using that one? I mean, they want multiples anyways, because there's going to be a large herd, so... I'm just popping a few across the area. How did it just get lowered? Places a shelter, hot shelter goes down. <laughs> Guys, are you sure you're recognizing this as a shelter, not just as a dope? Here. There we go. <laughs> the amount of shelters it takes to get these guys happy is insane. Um, yeah, let's not do that. This is also, by the way, a way to make it sound, uh, make the animals believe that it's less shelter than they have, so... You know, if your shelter suddenly goes down, it might be because you gave them too much bedding. And now they can't fit in there anymore. Or because the bedding is up here. And it's soggy, and now they don't want to go to it. There we go. And that should be the last one. Did I ever? I think the doll sheep still don't have a house, do they? They're just like, oh no, we don't need a house, it's fine. Yeah, where do you hide? They're just like chilling out in the corner or something. Come on. There, you can, you can at least try to sleep in that one. they can act like they've got like a home now. Okay, back to the reindeer. We need a food turf and they've got water. We've got a herb scent in between. Can I use that for all of my current animals? Because I think I can American bison and I think it also works for doll sheep, right? Yep, perfect. Doo -doo. Many guest thing tickets are underpriced. Oh, I mean... You know, guests, if you want to pay more, go ahead. I'm not going to stop you. But just there's donation boxes for that. You know, just just throw all your money into the donation boxes. I'm not going to stop you. Uh, we also need benches and such. And bins before this whole place becomes a litter box. I really like how this was done with the snow, but um, like with the steam sort of thing. I just wish it wouldn't be green brownish because it looks like it's dirt, which I believe the original animation does include dirt, but you know, it almost looks like they're trying to poison someone, like bad fumes, smog, something like that, instead of, well, the things it should be. Uh, tiger and Tundra of North America, Asia and Europe. I don't think Tiger and Tundra exists on any other continent. So I'm just going to stick to what I've got here. Like American African tiger. I think that wouldn't you quite know, work out. When our animal rescue unit told me to expect reindeer, I was confused why one, they were talking about the weather, and two, they were being so familiar. <laughs> Rain, deer. <laughs> oh, Barney. No. Uh, oh well. Good work getting them settled in anyway. <laughs> yeah. Goodness. And here I thought I was making bad jokes. Bernie, please. Please stop those. I didn't even get it at first. I was just like, was he trying to make jokes about like Rudolph? But Rudolph doesn't do anything with weather. Like... <laughs> nope. Turns out Bernie is just Bernie and will always be Bernie. One day I'm gonna go around the world describing dads as Bernies. 
Like, wow, you are a real Bernie, dude. They're all gonna look at me weirdly. Guess they don't know who Bernie is. And do you think I'm talking about, like, Bernie Sanders or someone? <laughs> Instead of the actual Bernie? Did we finally take care of the injured animal? Or are they still injured? What if they're still injured? I did send a vet for him, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, can't do anything about that. Education rating and... Windy welfare. Well, that's just meaning that we have to wait. In the meantime, we might as well use these... shop shells to make some monies. Information centers always work. Nothing else, people can go and buy an umbrella. Gonna protect them from the snow. I mean, they could also just have taken warm clothing, but... Planet Zoo? Why would people, you know, think far enough ahead to bring warm clothing if they're going to a zoo in the north of Norway? You know, that's, that's just too much planning. People would never do that, realistically speaking. Oh, but Zoo is so pretty when it snows. There are no security guards. There's no crime. We're in Norway. Ah, oh, sadly we're not in Canada. That would work even better, but... We're close enough, right? Just get a security then. Protect the people and their handbags from the snow. Imagine something like, the snow stole my money! That, that's how it works, but, you know, someone could try. Okay, well, seems like we're about to get more bison. And until then, I'm just gonna wait for our education to pay off and for people actually to get educated and stuff like that. To get the education rating up. Because we'll need to have that pretty high in the end anyways. We'll just see if we can take a look at the ultimate goals. Adopt in place to polar bears, increase polar bear overall welfare, research polar bear to level 5, research 5 habitat species to 3, release 6 of any habitat species to the wild, breed 6 new animals of different species, have at least 8 species, and have at least 1,300 guests. The guests is going to be chill. We already have a third of that, but the, the 8 species, that's going to mean we need like all of them. Like, all of them. <laughs> okay, well. We'll manage. For sure. Got a lot of like animals going on, that kind of offspring, so gonna be fine. How many of you can I have in a group? <clears throat> I'm sorry. American bison. I haven't been talking a lot. It's just, you know, my throat is being very unfriendly. It has its good days and it has its bad days, and apparently today is a bad day. Not that it's gonna stop me from playing video games or talking, but it can try. Just won't succeed. Okay, let's see if we can get any good female doll sheep in. Ah, there, you guys look good. And then I suppose we'll have some, some more offspring. I hope this place is too small for them. Uh, should work. <laughs> Worst case, um, I don't know how to make this bigger, but we'll find a way. But I think... Now, during the snowstorm, I'm going to end this episode, and I'll see you again in the next one.